Hey guys, Jennifer Don Gabiola, and today we are doing a uh, trying out this doing a Facebook Live training. Um, that way, it's convenient for you to get some value on the fly. So today, I wanted to talk with you. I wanted to share three tips to help you build your brand as an introvert. If you're hopping on, uh, would love to know who's there. So if you could share a comment. That way I could say hi to you. Um, I'm excited to, to share some, some tips that I've learned. Um, just to give you a little background, uh, I have mm, over 18 years of uh, experience in branding and design. And um, I was a design director and um, I've had my, my own business for about seven years. And so um, I know branding can be like a beast. It's kind of overwhelming. So what I wanted to share today was just um, just some fundamentals to con to think about as you're building your brand because my way of building um, of branding is very deep because I'm all about uh, creating something that will last and that's sustainable and that feels real to you so the tips I'm going to share with you today um, really go deep because as an introvert um, you go beyond the surface you know you do tune in really deeply to yourself and to others so what I want to share with you today is to like leverage those natural strengths okay so the first tip I'd like to share to help you build your brand as an introvert is to first just own your natural strengths really looking at being an introvert is as a strength because I think in our in our culture it just seems like if you're the loudest you get the most attention, but I find, I've found well, with my business that you being true to yourself and leveraging your natural strengths uh, as an introvert really helps you to stand out because you're not trying to be anyone else, right? So, for example, well, first let me back up. What is an introvert, right? An introvert is just someone that needs quiet time to recharge, right? It doesn't mean that you're antisocial or um, you're shy necessarily. It just means you need quiet time to recharge. So, um, your natural strengths as introvert, you are intuitive, you're a good listener, you create deep connections. So why I wanted to mention this tip is to own your natural strengths is because the way um, marketing is changing, it's really um, becoming more about being real and creating real connections. So that's our natural strength as introvert. We thrive on intimacy, we thrive on um, deep one-on-one -on -one connections so when you understand that being an introvert is is a real strength and you can be a quiet leader um, that in itself creates a strong foundation for you to um, to know that what you're working with is you're starting off at a really strong point um, let me know in the comments if you resonate with these tips uh, the second one I wanted to share was to honor your energy okay this is a big one because if you look at um, the online space, it just seems like everyone's go, go, go. You know, just do all this, just keep doing so you're productive. But I found in order to, to have a sustainable business, you have to honor your, your energy. As an introvert, your energy is everything. So really making your quiet time each day a priority, really, because when you tune into yourself, that really helps you to feel grounded, not only in your spirit, but then you also feel connected to something greater than yourself. And then you become an open channel to allow that guidance to come through. I shared a post today um, where this morning when I woke up, I got this divine um, nudge to go outside, start my day actually going outside and just spending time, in, you know, in the sunlight and just taking a breath you know because normally I'd wake up and I have a routine but um, I wouldn't normally start the day going outside but I felt it felt really good to just be present and feel like connected within myself and then connected with life um, in general and and to like just be really have a moment of gratitude you know because gratitude really allows you to uh, get really in tune with all the blessings you already have and to receive more Okay, so um, around tip number two is to honor your energy. So prioritize your quiet time each day um, and tune in so you can receive that inner guidance, right? Also around that topic, honor your pace. Definitely honor your pace. You don't have to rush. 
Um, I think sometimes when you compare yourself to other people, you feel like, oh my God, I'm behind, but you're not behind. You have to trust your own pace. And then also it's helpful is to notice when you have the most energy. So like for me, I get, um, I, I work well between like 10 and three. Um, sometimes I'll work late at night if I feel inspired, but generally that's when I have the highest, my, my most energy. So think about if you have most of the energy in the morning, or are you a night owl? Like leverage that um, because then you can, you know, maximize your time when you're working. Okay, so tip number three to help you build your brand as an introvert. Uh, I kind of touched on this. Trust your instincts. Okay, straight up, there's no formula for success, okay? So you have to be courageous and uh, commit to paving your own way really really do uh, I've tried like following people's formulas and it's good to learn how other people have done it but at the end of the day no one is you and you have to it's like a trial and error process trial and error process to see what's gonna work you know and so what you do then is is basically like a curious experiment you take just take small inspired steps forward right and it needs to feel right to you. If you're like following someone um, who's maybe done it before, but it, it just doesn't feel right to you, like trust that because just because someone has done it a certain way and it's worked for them, does not guarantee it's gonna work for you and vice versa. You know, if something's worked for you, doesn't mean it's gonna work for someone else. So you really have to be really grounded in yourself, knowing your value, which is tip number one, and then uh, honoring your energy because Honoring your energy is going to be the fuel for you to move forward and trusting your instincts because um, especially as an introvert, um, you're deeply intuitive. So you have to know that life is actually wanting to help you and co-create with you to uh, create something that's never been created before. But you have to be brave because it, especially in the online space. It's going to require you to be real and honest. So you have to have that real and honest relationship with yourself first before you, you know, um, really try to go out there and connect with a lot of people because people can feel your vibe. That's why I wanted to include that, that tip about honoring your energy. You know, as an introvert, you don't necessarily want to talk a lot, but your vibe will precede you. Your People will feel your intention and your vibe, um, you know, so you have to be really in tune with yourself. Okay, so let me see. Um, oh, okay. So I wanted to share a bonus tip. So the first one, again, own your natural strengths as an introvert, honor your energy, and trust your instincts. But the bonus tip I wanted to include was to really, you know, if I could tell myself one lesson uh, or tip when I first started my business is uh, to really work on your mindset. Because you can do a lot of things um, take do a lot of techniques, follow a lot of like people's guidance. But if your mindset is like not ready to receive that, let's say you do all the right things, but deep down you don't feel like you're worthy, or there's some sort of other limitation, um, that's going to get in the way of you creating your own success. So, if I could give you like one tip that I really feel like is really imperative is really to. Uh, give yourself be kind and loving with yourself but really work on your mindset and um reflect on these things that maybe be blocking might be blocking you from receiving uh more success more wealth and uh, it's an ongoing process but you have to you can only receive what you're willing what you're able to give and so you have to be able to um uh get your mind and your spirit right about receiving really um, so I definitely feel like working on your mindset is imperative uh, if you have a business. Okay, so let me know in the comments which of these tips uh, resonated with you the most. Um, these are actually some highlights that I um, took from my um, annual Quiet Voice Big Impact branding course, which is coming up. Um, I'm excited. I usually run in October, so it's going to be coming up soon. So, um, I, but I wanted to pull some highlights from there because branding is such a big, um, uh, it's a big, not even a task, it's a big 
goal. And so uh, to break things down in a way that feels relevant and true to you, it's imperative because you have to lay down a strong foundation first before you start to do, you know, um, the techniques, which is like social media. Are you going to be on Instagram? Are you going to be on Facebook? Are you going to be on Snapchat? Like all of those, are you going to have a website? Like all those are very um, uh, important tools, but you have to know your voice. You have to understand your value. You have to know how you serve and understand that you are an expert in what you do, not just based on what you do, but also also with who you are. And so um, I felt like maybe starting off this conversation with these tips uh, would, would start off, help you create like a strong foundation as you're building your brand because your brand is a natural extension of you. So as you evolve, your brand's gonna evolve, right? It's never gonna be stagnant. So that's why I added that bonus tip because you have to be super self-aware, you know, in a loving and kind, compassionate way, but you have to be self-aware to what is, um, what could be holding you back and how you can make those changes, right? So let me know in the comments um, which tip you resonate with you the most. Um, but be looking, be looking out for um, more information about my course, which is coming up soon in October. Um, uh, let me see if I missed anything here. Um, okay, cool. So I had a few people send, uh, share some comments in our Quiet Voice Begin Pack community with some questions about um, what they're struggling with with their brand. So I wanted to address those questions. And if you have any questions, please share in the comments uh, what you're challenged with, and I'd be happy to answer that for you. Okay, so the first question I got from Katie, and she said she is an ambivert, which is a hybrid of being an introvert and an extrovert. Um, and she says that she struggles with um, strategy and execution. She says she's a free spirit, but she struggles with um, the strategy part and the execution. So Katie, I wanted, to, I know you're gonna check out the replay here. So um, I, I, I wanted to learn a little bit more as to why you feel like you struggle with strategy. So I was just gonna make a guess that maybe there's a fear of making your big idea real because it's going to actually get you closer to your goals. I don't know if that's true for you, but I wanted to address that just in case other people could relate to that because um, it's common that we can dream big, but actually making that real can be scary because it's like, oh my God, you know, what if it ha what if it comes true? What if I'm more successful? Can I handle it? Or what if I fail? What, what's gonna happen then? There's just like so many what ifs. So I don't know if that's relevant for you, but I felt inspired to mention that. Um, but I did want to say that um, because you are a free spirit and because you're creative, to always, I always say this to my clients and students, to flow first and then flow first, logic second. So flow meaning um, allow your intuition to come through you Allow the magic to download, right? Whatever you feel lit up and inspired by. Like when you're in the shower, when you have inspiration, like those are real um, divine downloads that, that need to be, uh, uh, to make a priority because that's actually, again, life is co-creating with you. So when you allow your creative process to feel fun and to let it flow, then the eventually, um, I want you to like to reframe the idea that strategy can also be fun and a strategy can also be light. I think sometimes we assume that strategy is like the hard part, but try to look at strategy is like, it's a, co a container. It's a container for the magic. It's a vehicle to actually make your dream actually um, real, right? So I just wanted to encourage you, Katie, to um, really maybe reframe that strategy can be light and fun, and it's actually meant to be a, a solid container to uh, allow your divine guidance, your intuition, that magical divine download to actually come from like the ether through you to actually make it real. Because by you allowing it to go through that 
container, that vehicle, then other people will be able to receive the, the benefit of, of your vision, right? So yeah, I hope that's helpful. Just reframing what strategy is and just looking at it just like objective. It's just a container. So something else I wanted to share with you, Katie, is to definitely keep trusting your instincts um, about what inspired action steps to take. Try not to get overwhelmed with what other people are doing because that's not for you. That's, I mean, what's for other people or for other people? What's for you is what lights you up, right? So just keep trusting your, um, your own instincts and what you feel lit up to do. And you, if you get still, you can feel out like, what is it? I ask myself, for example, what, I ask God, what is it that I need to do today? You know, and then I just get quiet and feel that out and then just do that. You know, it's about taking small, consistent steps. Okay, and then I wanted to share with you uh, one more thing, Katie. To the stuff that you really just don't like, the admin stuff that you said that um, stresses you out, like delegate that. Give that to the admin administrative tasks that you don't enjoy. Um, give that to um, like a VA or a online business manager um, because there's people out there who like that's their zone of genius, right? So allow those people to support you with the stuff that you really, really don't want to do, you know? So that way you can focus on your zone of genius, like which is, you know, writing in your case and, and creating stories and connection. So focus most on what you're good at, your instincts, and reframe that strategy is just a, a vehicle or a container away for you to allow that magical download to be translated into something real. Okay, cool. So I hope that was helpful for you, Katie. Um, if you, um, when you watch the replay, let me know in the comments and I'll follow up with you. Okay, and then Anitra shared a question that she gets, she tends to get stuck in the details. Um, she's working on her brand, but she gets stuck making things pretty and perfect with her brand. Okay, I relate to this because my background is in design. So, it's good to um, have the desire to make things beautiful and um, to work at a high level of excellence. But I will say it's important that you focus more on progress over perfection. Okay, I know that's not like super easy, but um, just even setting that intention is gonna help you move in that direction. Um, because really what's most important is that you're making small consistent steps. And I think sometimes with perfection, we're trying to make it be like a certain way that actually paralyzes us from actually moving forward. So the goal is for you to take small, consistent steps forward that create momentum, right? That create momentum because it's not about doing everything all in one day. It's about asking yourself, what is it I need to do today? And then doing that to your fullest ability. And then that's it, you know, being happy with that. And something I wanted to share with you, Anitra, is because I ask myself this when I get stuck in trying to, think, trying to make things perfect, will focusing on this small detail move me forward with my bigger goal? You know, if you, uh, let's say, are feeling stuck and you feel obsessed by this one detail, is it really helping you move forward or is it keeping you stuck? Is it really going to add to the overall goal or not? So you got to pick and choose, like pick your battles. Is this small, small detail, if I really take the time to really do this the exact perfect way, is that really going to improve the overall goal that I'm wanting, right? If it's not, then let it go. You can always go back. You can always go back and refine it. But it's really about focusing on what's most essential towards your overall goal, right? Um, let me see here. Yeah. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I think I addressed uh, most of the questions here. If you have any questions, just type it in the comments below. Uh, oh, I did want to say that for the month of September, I will be sharing these um, regular uh, Facebook Live trainings. Um, so let me know if there's certain things that you would like me to talk about. But today I really felt guided to talk about just some fundamental tips to help you um, build your brand as an introvert. And if you're just joining us, just as a recap, 
the three tips were to own your natural strengths as an introvert, to honor your energy, and to trust your instincts. And the bonus um, tip was to definitely prioritize, make to um, work on your mindset, to really cultivate that um, that mindset that will allow more wealth, more success, um, for you to be able to receive that. Because I think sometimes. Um, we struggle deep down we struggle with oh am I worthy you know or we feel like we have to prove our worth so that work that inner work is necessary <laughs> it's really necessary for you to grow to your next level um, you know I, I tried going around that for years but um, if you really want that that uh, sustainable dream that success that you really are really, really wanting you have to go there. You have to go deep within yourself and allow those parts of yourself to be healed. That's why I encourage you to be kind and compassionate with yourself because it's a process, right? This whole thing is a process. Okay, cool. So, oh, I did want to mention that um, on Monday, September 26th, to help you feel more confident, uh, being more visible um, with your brand as an introvert, with your brand in your business, uh, I'm going to be rerunning our uh, awesome Quiet and Fierce Truth or Dare Visibility Challenge. We did this early in the spring and it was so much fun. I mean, we got so much engagement and people really got a lot of benefit from doing this five-day challenge. And so I feel excited to do it again. So um, if you want to sign up, if you're new to the group, uh, you can sign up at dawningsoul.com forward slash quiet ampersand fierce quiet and fierce that's the little ampersand so what I'll do is in the post here I'll, I'll share the link but um, be sure and sign up so you can get the, the emails um, sharing um, all the details for each day of the visibility challenge um, but the link is again dawningsoul.com forward slash quiet and fierce and again the the and is the little ampersand symbol. Okay, cool. So um, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I wanted to, I didn't want to overwhelm you with too much, but I really, again, my approach to everything is to, to um, go about it in a deep way because that's, again, how you're going to build this foundation, this strong foundation for your brand, this strong foundation to create genuine connection with your community um, because really things are shifting more and more um, in the marketing online space especially that people are wanting genuine connection um, and um, it's it's gonna it requires you to really be real with yourself so you can be real with others and then when you have when you're developing these like genuine connections when you do um, when you do share uh, because you've built this deep connection it's not gonna feel like a weird like cold sort of pitch, right? It's gonna be like sharing with friends. And that's the intention, right? So you f you share with um, people you genuinely care about and who genuinely care about you. So I see that uh, Andrea, hi Andrea. I'm happy you joined. Um, if you have any questions, Andrea, let me know. Uh, we're wrapping up the end of this Facebook Live training. Uh, about three tips to help you build your brand as introvert, but I'd be happy to if you have any questions uh, Andrea, let me know. I'd be happy to hang out hang on here and answer your question live If you're watching the replay um, And you have a question you can always put in the comments too and then I'll come back to this um, Recording later in our quiet voice Beacon impact community and I'll do my best to answer that uh, but I picked the ones that um questions that uh, I got over the past few days that I thought would be relevant for um, a lot of people in our group. So how are you doing Andrea? Andrea? Andrea. How are you doing Andrea? I hope you're having a good day. Uh, let me see if I've missed anything. So I am super excited about my course coming up. Uh, this will be the third time I'm running it and um, Quiet Voice Big Impact branding course, and um, yeah, really to see how people have um, got so much benefit with really understanding like their value as a person and 
their value with their brand. Again, my approach is very deep and then to see them transform within themselves and then recognize their value and then infuse that in their brand and really create success in their own terms with their brand. Like that's super fulfilling for me. So, um, so let me know if you have any questions, but, um, yeah, and definitely check out the other, um, resources we have in our group. Um, I, I really, you know, I, I appreciate that recently I've been getting a lot of feedback that people are enjoying our quiet voice big impact community. And that makes me really happy because my intention has always been that I wanted you to feel, a like a safe space for you to share who you are and to practice being visible and to, you know, share what you're working on just to feel supported because I really believe in the power of sisterhood. I really don't throw that word out lightly. I really believe that we as women need each other. We need each other to, to lean on each other and to, um, you know, especially those days when we feel like giving up, um, you need, uh, like people who really want to see you win and want to help see you thrive. So that's the intention and the spirit of our group. And I really appreciate everyone that has been a part of the group for a while and all the new people that have joined. And I'm super excited about um, the visibility challenge, the Truth or Dare visibility challenge coming up on uh, Monday, September 26th. So be sure to sign up there. And one last time, the sign up is dawningsoul.com forward slash quiet and fierce. Okay, guys. Well, um, Andrea, if uh, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. But I'll be in our group a little later today. I'm going to go take a break now. But I really hope that this training was helpful for you. And if you are watching the replay, if you have any questions about how to build your brand or anything related to visibility, your brand, um, leadership as an introvert, Whatever you feel um, like you're challenged with, you're struggling with, I'd be happy to follow up and answer a question later. But I will be doing another one, um, another Facebook live training next week. So be on the lookout for that as well. Okay, cool. So I'm going to hop off, but I hope you have a wonderful and a blessed day. Bye.